can uh, can get I this started. Take that sign in list then. Yep. Or wait. Yep, go ahead and grab that sign in list so you have it. At this time, I'd like to call the special meeting of the North Country Remsco to order. Um, we are here tonight uh, for one item and one item only. So I'd like to uh, read this uh, statement that I have prepared to you. So I want you all to listen to this carefully and make sure that you understand what I'm saying here. Members of REMSCO, we are here tonight to vote on the transfer of operating authority from Cape Vincent Volunteer Fire Department Incorporated to Cape Vincent Ambulance Squad Incorporated. As required under the provisions of Article 30 of New York Public Health Law, Section 3010-2D, and as requested by this council, the New York State Bureau of EMS and Trauma Systems has conducted a fitness and competency review of the principals, officers, and governing board of the Cape Vincent Volunteer Rescue Squad Incorporated. We have been advised that, quote, based on the department's investigation and review, there appears to be no bar to these entities and individual fitness and competency as described in Article 30, Section 3005-8, end quote. With that being said, that is the only portion under state law that we can address with regards to the operating authority transfer. Any other concerns with regards to the application to transfer are out of order for this proceeding and cannot be considered or discussed on the record. Our council's statutory duty in this matter is limited to a vote to transfer the ambulance operating authority to a new owner entity by affirming fitness and competency. At this time, I'm going to ask Ron Smith, Chair of the CON Committee, to review the timeline. Um, before I do, I'm going to make one comment that's probably going to be out of order, but I will do it anyway. I've been doing this a while, and this is the only application in my career as CON Chair that the state has decided that was incomplete and required a lot more information from the applicant. So that's why the timeline is going to show two different things. The application was received 8.30.17. The requested information by the COI committee was received on various dates between 8.30 and 9.14. Application deemed complete by the COI committee was 9.14.17. The FNC's uh, 3778 with the resumes and 3777, while well, the entire application was sent to Dana on 9-14-17, the application deemed incomplete by DOH. I don't have the exact date that the state uh, it was after 9-14. Requested information by DOH received on various dates between 9-15 and 10-18. There was a lot of correspondence between the state and the applicant. Um, Application deemed complete by DOH on 9-18. Excuse me, 10-18. Uh, DOH approved the FNCs and sent the report on 10-20. Decision when to hold the council meeting for a vote was 10-20. Uh, the COA committee makes the decision for recommendation 10-30. The application, which is tonight, to be approved uh, or denied 11-20. Uh, 17. This comes as a seconded motion from the committee. Uh, the motion is hereby made to approve the CON transfer from Cape Vincent Volunteer Fire Department Incorporated to Cape Vincent Ambulance Squad Incorporated as defined in DOH Policy Statement 0606 and Article 30. The entire CON committee was on board to approve this application. Okay, so per our bylaws, all statutory matters, certificate of need that require roll call vote must be passed by a majority vote of the membership roster of the council at the time of the vote. There shall be at least one representative present from each county. We meet that requirement. To date, we have 28 council members seated, which means we need 15 in order to vote, and we have 16 here. And once again, thank you very much for coming down to do this. 
At this time, I'm going to ask if there are any people that feel that they have a conflict of interest. If so, please raise your hand, be recognized, and it is up to the council to vote on whether they feel a conflict of interest exists. Any conflicts of interest? Barring none, with what I've read to you and what Ron has told you, are there any questions? Are there any questions? If not, this comes forth as a seconded motion from the CON committee. I would like to thank them for all their work on this. And I'm going to ask Dave Sherman, the Secretary of the Council, to do a roll call vote. James Barr. Yes. Joe Bova. Yes. James Chestnut. Yes. Jim Devers. Yes. Mark Devers. Yes. Debbie Fultz. Yes. Art Garno. Yes. Larry Gerard. Yes. Ron Hance. Yes. Kristen Mead. Yes. Carol Munch. Yes. David Sherman. Yes. Debbie Singleton. Yes. Ron Smith. Yes. Dottie Souter. Yes. Mark Tuttle. Yes. Roll call complete. 16 in the yes. No no's. No abstentions. Motion is carried. I thank everyone for coming tonight. It's hard to get people to come for one item. At this time, I'm going to let the recording secretary know that her duties are done. It took her longer to drive up from uh, the other side of Syracuse than it took, and as it did some of you. But thank you very much, Savetta. You know how to get a hold of me. I do. I do. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to request that you get your T and E's into me in the next week for the travel down here, so that we can put all the expenses together for Cape Vincent, so we can see where all the expenses lie. So. You can scan it, send it to me, and I will get it processed and, and get it through for you. With that being said, we will adjourn this meeting. Again, thank you very much. Have a great holiday and, and travel home safely.